Starbucks prices right now are absolutely outrageous. The largest specialty drink even costs enough to make me wish I was a trust fund baby just so I can keep my caffeine addiction alive. Good thing fellow dorks like me exist also looking for the taste of overly sugared coffee. Back in 2015, a software engineer by the name of Igor Homokov found a way to exploit Starbucks gift card system in order to get him unlimited coffee. His accomplishment may have given him internal satisfaction of knowing that he could have free coffee whenever he wanted. However, it landed him in a little bit of heat from Starbucks HR. Let me show you how he did it. How Igor managed to accomplish this is through a well-known software bug known as a race condition. A race condition is a situation in a program where the expected outcome depends on the timing of a program trying to access the same resource. Let me try to explain this in non-technical terms. Imagine you and a friend are trying to build a Lego tower by just stacking one brick on top of each other. You are both equally as fast as taking one brick from this pile and adding it over to the tower, as neither of you are Lego speed building champions. If you each take turns stacking the bricks, nothing special happens. The tower just goes up by one each time, alternating which block is on the bottom and which one is getting stacked on top. However, if both of you start to stack a block at the same time, we really wouldn't know whose block would be laid down first. Sometimes the red block would be put down first. Other times the blue block would be put down first. This is what's known as a race condition, a situation where you don't know which process will be completed first. Now cool, we have a great Lego block example, but how does this compare back to programming? In order to think about this in computing terms, think about each one of those Lego bricks as being a program. In a computer, multiple things are going on at the same time by a process known as threading. It's the reason why you can get absolutely destroyed in COD while listening to music on Spotify that's just gonna piss you off even more. One thread is handling Spotify while the other thread is handling playing COD. On a computer, we can deploy these two threads to run the same application at the exact same time causing a race condition when they go to access the same resource. So how did Igor take advantage of this? The magic answer is gift cards. In many gift card systems, when you try to load a balance onto a card, a three-part system occurs. One, it'll check the balance of the gift card. Two, it'll withdraw the funds from the donor. Three, it'll deposit the funds into the receiver's account. This process usually works well in most cases. However, if systems aren't configured to handle multiple requests simultaneously, race conditions will occur. And this is exactly what Igor did. Going back to our patented Lego block example, think about each one of those Lego boxes having that three-step process. Igor got the idea to buy three gift cards, each loaded with $5, with the plan of transferring money between the cards. First, in order to exploit the system, he would have to test what a normal transfer would look like. When he went to transfer money from card A to card B, the software would look at the balance of gift card A and see that, hey, there's $5 in this account, enough to make the transfer. Once confirmed, it would decrease card A by $5 and then add those $5 to card B, putting that balance at $10. The opportunity for the race condition comes in between steps one and two. If you simultaneously deployed two programs doing the exact same thing, you run the opportunity of tricking the program into thinking that there's more money in the donor's account that there actually is. Let's see what happens. First, the transfer from A to B would initiate step one, check the balance of the gift card. Transfer B would see that there's $5 and then immediately move to step two. However, the program to transfer to gift card C happens at roughly the exact same time as B and initiates its step one. So it also sees that there is $5 left in gift card A and moves to step two because both of these transfers had confirmation that there was money present in card A, two transfers would occur. Card B's transaction would cause card A to decrease to $0 and then have a resulting balance of $10. Card C's transaction would then cause card A to have negative $5 and card C would also have $10. And with gift cards, if you have a negative balance, all you have to do is throw it out. If Igor was unethical, he could repeat this process over and over and over and have unlimited money for coffee. But being the ethical man that Igor is, he went and reported this bug to Starbucks. And according to his blog post, the unpleasant part is a guy from Starbucks calling me with nothing like thanks, but mentioning fraud and malicious actions instead. Come on, Starbucks. The guy probably saved you thousands. Vulnerabilities in code are everywhere. And this is an example of showing that even big companies overlook bugs such as race conditions in code all the time. If you're ever coding applications that have shared resources, be on the lookout for race conditions. Use tools such as mutual exclusion or semaphores to control the synchronization of your code and make sure that one resource isn't being accessed by multiple programs at the same time. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do more story slash program based videos in the future. Really appreciate everybody's time. And if you could, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me to grow my channel and keep doing these kinds of things. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.